most people are only familiar with Patrick Beverly as the pesty, rough defender that is usually matched up against some of the best scorers in the league. Although Pat Bev can score a bit in transition and hit open threes here and there, he isn't really seen as an offensive threat. Well, what if I told you that there was a time in which Pat Bev was considered the best player in his state? Patrick Beverly was born on July 12, 1988 in Chicago, Illinois. Growing up on the rough side of the city isn't easy, lucky for young Patrick, basketball was always a part of his life. His father was a former player, and his mother saw it as a way for him to stay out of trouble. I'm pregnant at 17, I was a senior in high school. I didn't know what I was having, but the way he was carrying, I was carrying him, he was always kicking and punching and just real active baby inside. His father was a basketball player, and he would always see his father's trophies and say, when I get to be in high school, I'm going to have the double trophies that you have. He attended Wabansi Valley High School in a suburb of Chicago, Illinois, as a freshman, before transferring to John Marshall Metropolitan High School on Chicago's west side. The move to Marshall was important, and it was here where his game really developed, and he took his play to another level. Him to be in an inner city going to school, I figured that he wasn't tough enough. I didn't want him to be bullied. I didn't want him to have to fight every day. And I took him out of the suburbs. He went to grammar school there, and he went to high school for his freshman and sophomore year there. I wouldn't let him play basketball unless he, his grades were a certain point. Right, he didn't want to really focus on schoolwork, and I was like, you know what, I just got to take a chance. I'm going to move to the city and just pray that he's safe and put him in one of the inner city schools. And it was actually one of the best decisions I made. And he wanted to see if he was good enough to play in the Red West. The division that he was in the high school is one of the toughest leagues. Now Patrick was able to play with and against some of the best players in the city and in the nation. One of the players happened to be Derrick Rose. B. Rose was nationally ranked by many as the best point guard in the nation, but Patrick Beverly had a chip on his shoulder. Like everything else, he knew he had to go out and secure his own future. Marshall would win this game easily by 20 points, with Patrick finishing with 36 points and 8 rebounds. Derrick Rose finished with 19 points. As the year progressed, Patrick was unstoppable. He led Marshall to one of the best records in the state, 31-2. Pat was averaging 37.3 points per game, 6 rebounds, and 6 steals. He was also named co-player of the year. However, the job was not yet finished. They were now in the state tournament with one team in their way from going on to win it all. Simeon and Derek Rose, the city champion, were back, this time much improved with a record of 30-2. and two. And Derek has definitely helped to start that image up about Illinois and Chicago and basketball again. Simeon, led by Derrick Rose, the City Player of the Year, is a team Marshall faced early in the season. Although we won the previous meeting easily, that was then. This is now. The Simeon team has improved and motivated. As Simeon continually beats us to the punch, desperation starts to set in. The Marshall vs. Simeon matchup was one of the toughest and most exciting games of the season. The coach tried putting Derrick Rose in a box and won, but role players stepped up and carried the load.
after a solid performance from Patrick, Simeon proved to be too much. Simeon defeated Marshall 69 to 56. Patrick finished with 19 points, Derek Rose with 21. Following the loss, a very upset Patrick and another teammate got into a fight and would not be able to start in the consolation game. Patrick Beverly's high school career was over. Now all he had left was to pick which school to attend. The two schools in the running are Michigan and Arkansas. It took, it took a long time for me to figure out the shit. For me to figure out which coaches are real, which coaches are bull. Bull stuff for me, I mean, it, just, it, it was real tough for me to see. But uh, it came down to, you know, what, where, where does my heart want me to go? And I, uh, I have chosen to go to the University of Arkansas. All right.